Hello, and welcome to our series on our favorite embroidery and sewing machines here at Linda Z's. Today, we're going to take a look, a closer look at the FAF Creative Icon 2 and all that it, and uh, maybe not all that it entails because it entails so much. We're going to touch on some of the really, really cool features of this machine. And uh, starting with, it's got some artificial intelligence. I mean, that's really cool. You've got a huge space here from the needle to, that's just like a classic, right? That you have this huge 12 inch plus space from the needle going over to the inside of the throat of the machine. You have a projector, a scanning system, which has a camera. You can project in sewing, you can project in embroidery. Um, and just, we can, we can look at the screen, for example. It has a large screen that's 10 inches high. Um, I'm not sure I measured the actual width of this really cool screen right here, but let's do it here right now, if live. We've got five inches by 10 inches uh, screen that looks like an iPad on the side. It's, it's projecting videos, so it's in sleep mode basically right now, and it's projecting all of the wonderful features that are inside of this machine. And right before, so here they're talking about decorative stitches and stitches that are exclusive to the Foff brand, but then also exclusive just to this particular machine because it's uh, some of them are, are sideways moving. You can see the sideways motion, ribbon stitches, stacking stitches, and we'll go into that. Some of these stitches, um, stacking, floating, um, radiant, radiant stitches uh, in a moment. But I just wanted to show you how this this video is here. It, um, I'm in sleep mode and it's just showing me everything. So I could sit here for hours just looking at everything that this machine can do. It's very, 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 very advanced technology. So why don't we go ahead and go in to the screen. And I was, I was playing around earlier and across the, uh, the menu of the decorative stitches, there is uh, a, a menu called decorative, just plain old decorative. And it's the fifth menu. And on the fourth uh, window screen of that, there's this checked uh, design. And look at how wide that is. And I mean, you could embellish entire pieces, swatches of fabric, and then cut out a garment after you've embellished the entire piece of fabric with this check. I think mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, and then some, you could create ribbon, you could do, do so much with these, and that's just one of the decorative stitches. So if I were to go across the top here and look at, for example, the, the techniques that are exclusive to Faf, this, there, there is a menu here, there are seven different types of stitches and the single ribbon stitches is, are right here on the first menu. So you can see a, a bunch of them. If I were to choose, for example, the first one, it will show me what it will look like as it's going down a ribbon. You're, you're making ribbon down and folding it over. The second one would be double ribbon stitches. So you've got different ribbons crisscrossing each other in these beautiful designs here. And then the third one, triple. My goodness, you can have triples to, to create a braided effect. You have the stacking stitches, which are gorgeous. Let's choose like the heart. So the stacking stitches go down and you can create them next to each other, don't, going down rows. And that's really beautiful. I've done that before. That's very fun. The fifth menu has what they call the floating stitches. And they, what's nice is that you, you create this row of stitches and they're not connected because you're using the technique of folding the fabric over and then pulling it open. Um, later after you've stitched this out onto partial stabilizer and then you're pulling it open and it looks just like they're floating on your fabric. That can be a very beautiful technique. There's a whole bunch, 20 of them I see there. Then you have the uh, radiant stitches here and you can do straight line, you can do curves. They're, they're beautiful also. Let's just show you one of those, for example. That's also very, very pretty. Um, and then the seventh menu is lace edge. So these are really gorgeous. With, so again, you would use a water-soluble stabilizer over the edge of whatever you wanted to create that lace effect off the edge of. And then you've got six different shapes of lace that would go across off the edge of your um, garment. And so that's really cute for like sleeves over the edge of a sleeve, for example, or, or on a collar, you could do that. And you could actually stitch it out onto the actual fabric, but it's, it's made for being freestanding lace. So you would make your upper thread and your bobbin thread the same color and that way because you could see it from both sides so it's uh and it's once you dissolve that water soluble stabilizer it's just freestanding 
scallop, scallop edge over the with holes, you know, going down the center. So it looks heirloomy, which is very fun. Uh, and then there's all kinds of different stitches. They have all the way up to the ninth menu. Uh, let me go back to some of these other ones too. They have monograms, so two different monograms, the smaller and the larger sized monograms, which are fun. The miscellaneous, let's look at miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is the different types of bows and hearts. There are three different menus. Then there are animals. So look at that, you've got kangaroos. You can have kangaroos leaping across a project. That's very cute. 6.3, the third menu on the miscellaneous are called fun stitches. I mean, look at this. This is just so much fun. And you've got the uh, a, a, a row of crowns or a row of bells and there are up to 20. Oh, look at the feathers or the hot air balloons or the kites. Those are beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what else do we have here. We have satin stitches, we have needle art, we have quilting stitches, and then you have the regular utility stitches and there are four menus in the utility stitches. So you've got the first menu, of course, is your zigzag, your straight stitch and a couple of the uh, um, other uh, re regular utility stitches, you've got your overlock type stitches. So if you don't have a serger, you can actually dabble in these to um, finish your edges. You've got your third menu, which are the buttonholes, which are beautiful. So many beautiful varieties of buttonholes. And then your fourth menu is, is also very cool. It's eyelets and darning stitches. So um, you can really, really do some fun garment work. Um, and even if you wanted to use that for uh, any um, household uh, home decoration projects as well, That's, that can be very good too. So then the second menu is quilting, all kinds of interesting quilting decorative stitches. I mean, these are just the decorative stitches here. And so what I was getting at before was, so in front of the machine here, we have the projector, the, the, the camera that, pro that projects, and then it also scans the entire um, hoop, but you can do our scanning in both the sewing so that you can put a grid down and project a, a grid down and see exactly where you're stitching on your project as you're directing the machine, the, the project under the needle, you can follow the grid and that's a very, very, very wonderful feature that they've added to the icon, which is great, the icon too. And then in embroidery, of course, why don't we head over to embroidery now, go over to embroidery. Do you want to clear? Yeah, sure, clear what we had. And go into embroidery. Okay, so when we're in embroidery, we can choose a design. Let's see, why don't I grab a, a design from, there are all these fun, fun, let's go into the kitchen, shall we? Go into the kitchen and take down here. I was looking at uh, the word chai. There we go, chai. So we have the word chai. And I'm going to choose the hoop that I have prepared here. So let me choose my 360 by 320 by 260, 360 by 260. And I just want, so see how it's going to be smaller in this larger hoop. And by the way, this is uh, one of four hoops that come with this machine. I believe this is an 11 by 16 or something like that. Gosh, sorry about that. I don't know. It's 360 by 260 in centimeters. So let's get that in inches. I'll show you here. It's uh, 11 inches by 16. Nice. Ooh, that's a really great size hoop. So you've got the four. You have this one, which is the almost the largest version. You have 360 by 360. So that would be 16 squared, pretty much 15 by 16 squared. And then you have um, an 11 by or eight by 12. This is the eight by 12 version, but then you can get any of the hoops in between. But this, these are, that's a really nice selection for embroidery of hoop sizes. So what I wanted to show you here was the projection. So when we put on the projection, it's gonna tell me to attach my hoop. So I'm gonna attach my hoop. I just have a, a towel that's the same color as the machine. I thought it would be fun to coordinate the purple Aurora with the purple Aurora, right? So here we've got the purple Aurora. Okay, so, and my projector is on, but now what I have to do is I have to try to find the design where it is. So let me, okay, so I can see, and I have this 
camera where here, let me get it I'm going to move it down a little bit my design so that it starts to show up inside of my projection so you can see the word chai I'm actually moving my design where it will stitch in the hoop and so you can see the word chai on my project so for example if I had a pocket right here and I wanted to place that chai right above that pocket I'd be able to move it to the left to the right and that's exactly where it's going to stitch out in this hoop right now so that's really cool just wanted to show you that and that is the in a nutshell that is the led the lighting work with the projection set up so you can have the background be different colors you can have your image be projected a little bit darker a little bit lighter we've got um the ability so part of the in artificial intelligence is that when you put a, a foot on this machine and you've selected a stitch for example in in the sewing mode it will tell you whether or not the foot that is on the machine is the proper presser foot to to use for that particular stitch so that's wonderful actually because it will it will show you on your screen basically well maybe you should have used this foot right and then so you go get that foot which normally would have either come with your machine or it's uh, available at Linda's East for you to purchase um, and so you can also uh, edit the color wheel you can you can create all kinds of designs inside the machine you've got access to the wi-fi and so you can, what they call the MySonet library, when you buy this Creative Icon 2, you have access to that for three months uh, for free for the first three months that you register it. And what that entails is close to 8,000 embroidery designs that are available to you to download directly from the Wi-Fi onto your machine. And that is just incredible. So it's nice to, to know that it's being in the, it's in the cloud somewhere. You don't have to find the CDs and and because you can look for them just like you would um, in your own library, but you can type in a word that, that would say Christmas, and then all of the Christmas designs in the library would come up for you to choose from. And that's, that's also very, very cool. And then if you wanted to invest in their software program, if you, so they have three different, they have basic, silver, and platinum, uh, the MySonet software. If you were to invest in, say, the middle version, the silver, you would get access to the library uh, automatically by by paying for the monthly fee of I think it's twenty nine ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine I can't remember but it's a it's a monthly subscription for their software for their to that silver version and it's it allows you to do all kinds of editing functions in software and then you get access to the entire uh, library as well so starting at silver and then going into platinum. Both of those versions of the software allow you to have that, that access to that library. I'm trying to think of what else I might... Oh, for a time being, we do have a couple of the packages that are available. Uh, and I see that it's a limited quilters kit that we have. So we do still have... It's got a rotating cutting mat, rota uh, rotary tool and blades. We have a ruler set and the needles inside here. So that's a really cool faf. So it's faf... Uh, a logo on the everything that you see inside there and then we also have a sewing and embroidery kit that comes with a couple of these that are remaining so if you're interested in those that's also cool you have eight inch uh, scissors applique scissors tweezers thread snips a tape measure so these are all faf branded um, assorted colored thread and then two assorted faf sewing machine uh, needle packs as well inside this one um, and that's um, so that's just a couple of those that are available and then there's there's the uh, th 360 degree turning uh, luggage set that, that fits both the embroidery unit in one bag separate and then the roller for the machine itself. So that's that's also part of the, the package right now. And um, so that's in a nutshell. I'm, I'm trying to think of there are so many really cool features that I'm sure I missed. Uh, it's just an awesome machine. Come in, come into the store and we'd love to show you more.